Hey guys, I wanted to make a little tutorial on like how to use Eurodyne and stuff, just like um, beginner's guide, like the video title says. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna go through like all the like basic settings that um, most normal people are gonna use. So I'm gonna start with um, just connecting to the car. So it can be tricky. Like sometimes. Um, it can be a little finicky like when when it connects but the way i have the best luck is turning ignition on and plugging it into the computer so plug make sure you plug your car in before you start the software i find that works best so this is your basic like start screen So, click here to start, yes. So, let's talk about everything here. So, this is how you get your um, off-the-shelf files. That's what you're going to use in, if you're not getting a custom tune. So, you'll click this, and it'll show, like, stage one, stage two, depending on what model you have. And you'll select that, click download, and that's how you're going to get your over-the-shelf files right there. Same thing with your DSG, um, your TCU tunes. You're gonna use this button and that's just your over the shelf TCU tunes. This, you can click on this and it'll bring you, here I'll just show you this one. It'll bring you to this screen and you connect to the controller. Then you can read fault codes. So you have a little code for a turbo. We're just tuning's not finished and that kind of stuff, but you can clear it too. Then we can go back into here. So, um, Mabotech says if you want to get custom tune, um, you want to license your vehicle for Maestro. This is so um, the tuner has like. A license to where he can send files to your um, through your cable so um, if you don't have a license um, the software won't accept like custom files so I recommend getting purchase this it's the eight credits use your credits to buy this first even if you're just getting over-the-shelf tunes because down the road um, you'll probably want to get a custom tune. So, and once you purchase the Maestro software, it automatically unlocks stage one and stage two. Um, and once once you make a log and you send that to your tuner, he he'll send you a custom file, and you flash that through this button. You click that, and then you select the file that he sent you. Uh, read your ECU. That's if Eurodyne tells you to, just like it says. And this is the same thing. Um, that's like for custom files for your DSG tune. And this is just if Eurodyne tells you to do that. So um, when so your tuner is going to ask you to make logs so he reads he or she I guess reads your log and then and then he'll send you an adjusted file so you're gonna this is how you're gonna make logs oh I just see it's a little finicky if you do stuff like that Oh, it's because I saw that window open. So you'll go to other functions and Maestro Logger. You click that. And this will show you lots of stats and stuff. And then you can go here to text view. And it will show you stats too. So right before you want to do your like fourth gear pull, third gear pull, you'll click start. And when you're done, you click stop. And that will automatically save 
the file to like the uridine folder and or you can click start if you're doing like daily logging like um daily driving logging just for like if he wants to adjust like your car low throttle input and stuff but yeah anyways that's basically all you need to know oh and also mark 7 users they can go to um this right here and if instructed by your tuner oh it's not going to work cuz i don't have a mark 7 but um if instructed by your tuner you can adjust uh boost and octane level there so that's pretty cool and this is just um and Eurodyne also has a new wireless dongle oh and by the way you plug your flash cable into the obd2 OBD port i'm sure you knew that but um if you have the wireless dongle you can connect with your iphone and it has all the same features and stuff but yeah that's basically it um, stay tuned for more um, the car like we're still doing some more stuff on the TT and um, I'll have some videos out soon um, I'm putting it I'm putting the new version M500 uh, CHRA inside uh, inside my turbo so little upgrade there and uh, yes yeah, stay tuned guys thanks for watching